have in front of me a Labgear S201 satellite meter. So this is, um, you know, a cross between a full professional satellite meter, but it comes at more or less a DIY price. Really fantastic product. It's simple, it works brilliantly. You can figure it for your own location. It's available with free delivery. Uh, I really love this product. I think it's super, and it's literally gonna blow away loads of the competition, right? Because it'll do for DIYers, but it'll do professional installers as well, okay? So when you open up the box, you have the lab gear manual here. You have the actual um, uh, meter here. You have your three pin plug, and you have a strap here, which you can use for clicking this on. You can see um, you have to click at both sides here, here and here, and uh, it'll just connect it on. And then we have a USB uh, cable on one end and a micro here, and you could use that for just updating software, etc. Okay? When you get this and take it out of its box, it'll be already charged, okay? Or have a certain level of charge on it, so you'll be able to immediately use it. Um, if you do go to charge it, you're supposed to turn it off for doing the charging. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to start off and just talk about the battery component on it, okay? And I'm just taking off this protective rubber ping on it. We'll just get this out of the way where we'll come along. We'll look in the back here and we'll see that this is our little, little, little Myon battery there, okay? So what we'll do is I'm just going to put this back in here now. So this is very flexible. And what I'll do here is, that's it. Normally we wouldn't take that off, but I've just done it now. Uh, simply to have the whole thing uh, done and out of the way. Okay, so that's it. So how do we turn it on? The first thing we know, we have an on-off switch here and a satellite connection on top. So I'm just going to turn this on here, like this. And we have just six menus on the display here. I hope the camera's picking up. Okay. We have a number of functions on it here. The first and sort of cool function here is just giving a meter reading here in terms of how strong is your satellite signal. Um, and that's uh, impressive. Uh, in terms of, so you can do that, we'll say, just look at the, a very quick guide on it, and what you have then is, um, what you have here, we'll just display this, is a little batch or a light button, a little torch, if I turn this around, it show, you have a lot of flashlight on it built in, that's pretty cool. We have a compass built in on it here, and the idea of this is, you can actually set this up, know where to point the meter, uh, or how to align the dish, just using the thing on it. So what you really want to do is you want to set up your satellite dish as close as you can to possible, and you're just saying, this is just building the compass. I, I, when I was doing professional installing, I always used to use the compass initially to find out where to go. I want to have a fair idea, do the fine training with the meter itself. Then we have our ability to, um, okay, we're using that for selecting, we're using return to go to previous menus, and we're working our way through the menus, we're using arrows left and right, up and down, okay? So by default here, what we have is the satellite settings here. If I come along here and just press the OK button on that, um, it, we'll just see uh, what satellite we're set up for, and it's just giving details on it, okay? And I can get out of there by hitting there. Um, if we come along and we use the next one here, which is the signal settings here, that's normally what we're using when we're actually checking the signal levels, okay? I'll be going and do that in a moment's time. The first thing you'll do when you get your meter is go in here, which is in that the actually tools, so just gonna press okay there. And what we can do here is, we'll actually need to come along here and we'll need to check the, the correct satellite, okay? So um, when you come along, the first satellite on it is satellite number one and it's 30 degrees west. And I don't know where that is. This meter is obviously manufactured in China and it just has a single set for everything. And uh, the key thing what you need to do is just scroll down along the list, as I did here, and go into channel number 42. Okay, which is 28.2 degrees east. It's the Astro satellite. The other one you might commonly use, I think, is 33 on the list, which is hot bar, 13 degrees east. Okay, so that'd be more like the foreign nationals, Polish, Germans, people like that might use that one. Uh, and we just go, um, we just go back out of there. And if we come along, then we'll see that we the next setting down is actually saying what satellite we're aiming for. And the next two things here is you can enter in your longitude and latitude. And what I did here on this was I actually came along. And I, um, um, I, I just went on to my Google phone and I said, give me what's my coordinates for where I am. It gave me, we'll say that we're at minus seven degrees uh, east and um, oh, we had a longitude, I think, of 52 degrees. So 52 degrees from uh, the equator north of it, okay? So we came along and I just went in here and I arrowed down. And we were able to come along and I was able to press um, arrow down, arrow down. And when I got here, I wanted to actually go do the thing. I just pressed OK and I came along. And by using the arrows up and down, I can change this to different settings, OK? 
and um, so I was able to set there. So normally what we'll say is, you know, just say I lived in France um, and I was a little bit uh, east of Greenwich, I'd put in a, a reading of three degrees, okay? But because we'll say I'm west of it, what I actually did is I just wanted to keep it on the, the Greenwich settings here. And what we did is we came along and I just said that um, uh, the, the coordinates were telling me I'm at minus seven degrees. I know it's 360 degrees on the planet, so I just put my setting in as um, 200 uh, or 353 east. Okay, so that's the spring is around seven degrees off. Then for the next one is a little bit simpler. All we had to do was um, I I just had to come along and had to put the longitude in there at um, the longitude in there at 52 degrees. Because I knew that from the north and then uh, the next one down and then I just saved the settings by hitting return back out uh, okay and then return back out and I had the settings saved in there and what it'll tell you then is it'll give you an idea of uh, both the angle that you need to have the dish at and also um, the direction that you need to be pointing it so for where I'm just going to turn around quickly here we're at roughly about 138 degrees so um, north would be zero degrees south would be 180 degrees so 138 degrees is roughly uh, southeast so that's where we need to point it and if you had a dish that had an angle built into it would say what you'd be doing is you would be setting it at about 21 degrees or so anybody who's ever put up a sky satellite dish knows that quite cleverly they've actually built it in so with a sky satellite dish um, if you use the spirit level on the front of it, it's actually straight up, but that's how they're picking up 21 degrees on it. But as a general thing, if you're using a more um, universal dish, that's a sort of a, a setting thing on it. So if I come along then, having said that, set that and saved it, as long as uh, that's saved into settings. So if I turned off my meter and turned it back on, uh, which I've done earlier to this, that setting is in there permanently now. So it's always set up for Astra 2, and it's always set up for our particular location. So it knows that's where we are and it just makes the entire setup process quite easy. So I'll just do turn back out there now. And if I come along here, what I'll do is, I'm just gonna turn this off for a second. I'm just gonna grab um, a satellite feed that's coming off the Astro 2 satellite. So I'll turn this on here now. And I'm just gonna hit the switch on top, turn it on. And it just comes up and it loads extremely simply. And the reason it's loads so fast, is it's just so simple. Okay, can we see this? Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm coming over as far as the signal scan. I'm going to go to a signal scan. I'm just going to press OK. And it's giving me 90% signal setting and 73 in quality. Now we do a return out of there because that's beeping is quite annoying. If I went down to system settings, uh, you can hear it when I flick between menus, hit listen to the beep. If I came along here and I went into the system settings here, what we could do is you come along and key, every time I change key, off the sound and the lock tone off as well. I just go OK and I return back out and now when I flick between things, no beep and if I come back up here and I go OK again, once again it will display to me I'm getting 90% strength, 73% quality and we'll see the 73% actually digitally displayed here. Okay, So I just think this is absolutely brilliant because a lot of the meters, including the ones that we stop here, they have all these extra features in them, okay? And it just makes it bigger and more complicated all the time. But something like this is simple because literally I picked up the manual and spent less than 10 minutes with it and I knew everything there was to know about this particular meter here. The fact that you can do it, some guys might want spectrum analysis, they might want a terrestrial tuning thing built in, they might want all those things. But if you just want to have a simple meter to work with, bring up and down a ladder with you, or have it as a backup meter, a DIY meter, this is exactly the meter thing. This product here is going to absolutely devastate all the competition, I believe, simply because best little meter I've come across so far. So that's it anyway, an overview of the Lab Gear uh, S201 um, uh, satellite meter, uh, suitable for both DIYers and professionals, and it is available free delivery directly from freetv.ie.